Once upon a time, there lived a brother and sister named Hansel and Gretel. Their mother had passed away when they were babies. They lived with their dad in a cabin in the forest. Their dad worked as a woodcutter, and it was difficult for him to keep track of his children at the same time. After a few years, the woodcutter decided to get married again so that his children could be cared for by two parents. The woodcutter's wife was from a wealthy family, and she hated the fact that they were poor. She was not content and was usually very angry. She did not like her children and blamed her husband for being poor. One cold winter night, Hansel and Gretel were laying in their beds, but they could not sleep because of the cold. They heard their stepmother talking to their dad. Her voice was harsh and cruel and annoying. If we do not get rid of these kids, we will all starve to death. What? That's crazy. I love my kids. You won't if you starve to death. I've made up my mind. Tomorrow, we'll take them to the woods and leave them there. Hearing that, Gretel started to cry. <laughs> her brother Hansel comforted her. Please don't worry, Gretel. Somehow we'll find our way back home. Later that night, Hansel snuck out and collected as many pebbles as he could in his pockets. In the morning, their stepmother told them that they all had to go for a walk in the forest. Hansel was worried that his stepmother would get her way and lose them in the forest. So as they walked, Hansel dropped pebbles along the way so that he would be able to find his way back home. In the afternoon, their dad and stepmother lit a fire and told them that they will be back soon. They walked off and vanished into the woods. But the stepmother did not let the father go back to find his children. When the night fell, the children were scared. The forest sounded scary, and they could hear wild animals echo in the distance. The children began to get cold from the night air. Gretel began to shiver, so they stayed near the fire until it finally went out. Hansel could hear the wolves, and they sounded closer and closer. So he decided they should try to get home. Hansel, this was very clever of you. When the kids came back home, their dad was very surprised to see them, and so happy they were okay. The stepmother acted like she was happy, but her heart was still bitter towards the children, and she was very upset that they found their way back. She tried to figure it out for three days, until eventually she noticed the trail of pebbles. So she gathered them all up and locked the children in their room so Hansel would not be able to collect pebbles during the night. But Hansel was a clever boy. He saved his bread from dinner and put it in his pocket. And when they walked into the forest, he dropped the breadcrumbs from his pocket. Around noon, their stepmother made their father leave, and the children were alone in the woods again. But this time, they were not as worried because of Hansel's breadcrumb trail back to the house. They waited a little while and started to follow the crumbs. But this time, they did not get back home. All the breadcrumbs were eaten by the birds. Gretel started crying. <laughs> For the first time, Hansel also felt hopeless. This time, the kids were really lost. They were very afraid and had no food and no fire to keep warm. They wandered around the forest for three days, trying to find their home. On the third day, they saw a bird, white as snow with a tweeting song that was cheerful and beautiful. For a moment, they forgot their hunger and started to follow the bird. The bird brought them in front of a funny-looking house. The house had walls of gingerbread, a roof made out of cake, and windows of candy. 
and was covered with colorful cream all around. Hansel and Gretel could not believe their eyes. The house looked incredibly delicious. The kids forgot all about how tired they were and started to run to the house. Just as they were both going to have a bite from the house, they heard a voice from inside. Aha! No. Who is about to eat my house? From the door of the house came a plump old lady. When the children told her all about what had happened to them, she felt very bad for them and invited them inside. The inside of the house was very different from the outside. It was dark and scary and didn't feel right. But because they were so tired and hungry, the kids were just happy to be inside again. The old lady brought all kinds of food and desserts for them. And the kids ate so many sweets that they couldn't sleep that night. So when it was morning, they started to look for the old woman, but couldn't find her. At the end of the hallway, they saw a small door. When they opened the door, they saw cases full of gold and treasure inside. They were very surprised and wondered why the old woman had so much gold that would fill a room. Then they were surprised to hear a voice behind them. What do you think you are doing? The children turned around and there was the old woman. But she looked different. She was a witch. The children realized they had been tricked. The old woman covered her scary house in candy. The kids tried to run away, but the door was locked. The witch grabbed Hansel by the hair and dragged him across the room and locked him in a cage. Then she dragged ow, Gretel to ow, the kitchen. Oh, ow, owie, ow. Your brother is too skinny. Cook some food for him and make him fat. When he is in good shape, he'll be a delicious meal for me. But don't you dare eat anything. All the food is only for him. Gretel was so afraid, she obeyed and cooked meals for Hansel. Hansel was trapped, but he was a very clever boy. Each night when the witch was asleep, he dug a hole in the ground below the cage. The witch checked on Hansel every morning to see if he gained weight or not. But Hansel wasn't eating anything his sister cooked. Instead, he was burying the food in the hole beneath his cage. The witch wanted him to be fat so she could eat him. So she told Gretel to cook more and more meals. This went on for days, until finally the witch had enough. Fat or skinny, I don't care anymore. Today I will make Hansel pie. <laughs> she turned to Gretel. Go, look in the oven to see if the dough is baked enough. Although she was afraid, she figured out that the witch was trying to trick her and was going to push her in the oven. I'm too short. I can't see if the dough is cooked enough. The witch pushed her aside and looked for herself. Gretel gathered all her strength and pushed the old witch into the oven and closed the oven door. Gretel had watched where the witch was hiding the keys, so she ran as fast as she could to rescue Hansel from the cage. They escaped just in time. Flames covered the house, and burnt candy smelled terrible. Hansel and Gretel ran into the woods. They were glad to be free from the witch, but they were still lost deep in the woods. They came to a river and were surprised to see an enormous swan swimming towards them. One by one, the swan helped them across the river, and then they realized where they were and how to get home. They ran home as fast Daddy. as they could. Daddy! Daddy! Seeing his kids 
the father was full of joy. With tears of joy, he explained to them that their stepmother had left for good shortly after they left them in the forest and said she would never come back. The woodcutter felt so bad for letting the stepmother push him into leaving his children alone in the woods. The kids loved their father very much, so they forgave him. But another surprise was waiting for their father. They both reached into their pockets and gave him some gold and diamonds that they had snatched as they were leaving the witch's home. Whoa. Their father could not believe his eyes. Wow! Let me tell you what happened to us, Daddy. All the problems that their family had ever had, because they were poor, went away, and they lived happily ever after. And the stepmother never returned, because she was the witch.